Hello, aloha, anyong. Good afternoon, classmates, especially to you, Ma'am Lianas. I am Jean Marie C. Banyados from DHRE Section B. And now, the topic that given to me was Topic 3, Lesson 2, Setting Goals to be Success. Topic 3, Lesson 2, Setting Goals for Success. Lesson 2, Do Not Just Dream, Make It Happen. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Lesson Objective, At the end of this lesson, you should be able to use Bandura's self-efficiency theory for self-assessment, differentiate growth and fixed mindset by Dweck, and design personal goals adapting Lux goals setting theory. Introduction Jack Canfield is an epitome of success. He authored seven books in the Guinness Book of World Records as New York Times bestseller. What are those books that he authored? First, Chicken Soup for the Soul series. This book has 101 stories of life, love, learning, faith, inspiration, and hope. Second, the success principle, how to get from where you are to where you want to be. According to this book, there are 10 success principles to remember. Okay, number one, you are the only person responsible for your success. Number two, you don't have to invent the wheel. Number three, there is no progress without action. Number four, persistence always wins. Number five, focus is everything. Number six, failure is necessary. Number seven, positivity fuels productivity. Number eight, you must believe you can. Number nine, helping others is a big part of being successful. Number ten, success is a journey of countless babies. So, third is the power of focus. This book is on how to hit your business, personal and financial targets with absolute certainty. Number four is the Aladdin Factor. This book is how to ask for and get what you want in every area of your life. Fifth, Dare to Win. Dito mo makikita ang lesson from 57 of the world's most successful people. Six is you've got to read this book. 55 people tell the story of this book that changed their life. Last, The Key to Living the Law of Attraction. This book is a simple guide to creating the life of your dreams. May kasabihang, confidence is key. If you don't believe in yourself, then nobody will. One of Canfield's featured quotes about success is, by taking the time to stop and appreciate who you are and what you have achieved. And perhaps, learn through a few mistakes and stumble and loses. You actually can enhance everything about you. Appreciate what you have and who you have because the future can take it all away from you anytime. Appreciate what you have before it turns into what you had. All you have to do is self-acknowledgement and appreciation wait, and appreciation are what give you the insights and awareness to move forward toward higher goals and accomplishments. Higher goals and accomplishments. Code of Canfield By taking the time the time with who you are and what you have achieved. And Perhaps learn through a few mistakes and stumble and loses. We will learn more about Canfield Code through Albert Bandura's self efficiency theory, Dweck's mindset theory, and Locke's goal setting theory. Next is Albert E. Bandura's self efficiency. Albert Bandura was introduced the concept of self efficiency. Concept of self-efficiency in article entitled Self-Efficiency Toward an Unifying Theory of Behavioral Change. This published in Psychological Review in 1997. 
the article have also become an instant classic in psychology. Albert E. He was born in Mundari, Mundari Alberta on December 4, 1925. He was the youngest of six children. Take note, youngest of six children. He grew up with parents who put great emphasis on the value of family, life, and education. Lumaki talaga siya sa kanyang real family. Family-oriented siya, value of the life, and educated person. After graduation niya, he took a summer job in Alaska. In Alaska. Isa siyang working student. Isa siyang working student. Three years time. Three years time. Habang nag-aaral ng introduc introductory psychology course at the University of British Columbia, he graduated with the Bolokan Award in Psychology, 1994. He, he earned his master degree from the University of Lowa in 1951 and, and his PhD in clinical psychology in 1952. Before nag-accept siya ng position as a faculty member at Stanford University in 1953, he had a postdoctoral muna na position at the Wichita Guidance Center. The Bobo Doll Experiment Dr. Bandora had a study known as the Bobo Doll Experiment in the 1950s. The Bobo Doll Experiment is the collective name of the experiment performed by influential psychologist Albert Bandura. The result where the group of children who saw the violent behavior model became violent to the doll, while the control groups who has presented with the non-violent behavior model was rarely violent to the doll. This experiment has proven right the hypothesis that social modeling is a very effective way of learning. Dr. Bandura introduced the social learning theory that focuses on what people learn from observing and interacting with other people. Bandura's social cognitive theory states that people are active participants in their environment and are not simply shaped by the environment. Noong 1961 and 1963, he studied, he studied children's behavior. Pagkatapos nilang mapanood ang isang modelong pang nasa o aggressively towards a bubble doll, isang laro ang mani-manika na may bilogan sa ilalim at mababanggit na ng masa na bumabalik sa isang tuwid na posisyon matapos itong matumba. There are different variations of the experiment. The most notable experiment me measured the children's behavior after seeing the human model re get rewarded get punished or experience no consequence. So, nakatanggap sila ng award, rewarded ng parusa o naka-experience din sila ng no consequence for physical abusing the bobo doll. The experiments are empirical method to test Bandura's social learning theory. The social learning theory claims that people learn largely by observing, imitating, and modeling. It demonstrates the people learn not only by being rewarded or punished, but they can also learn from watching somebody else being rewarded or punished. These experiments are important because they resulted in many more studies concerning the effect of observational learning. The new data from the studies has practical implications, for example, by providing evidence of how children can be influenced by watching violent media. Dr. Bandora, he continued to do researches such as self-efficiency, stress reactions, and effects of modeling on human behavior, emotion, and thoughts. He has received many awards and honorary degrees due to his work. Work is the Great Canadian Psychology website 2008. I have video here. Why the self-efficiency is important. Please, pakinggan niyo po. Tackling goals, big and small, 
can be a challenge for all of us, but setting goals and pursuing them is important to get to where you want to go. Sometimes, a goal can be daunting, seeming too tough to tackle. That's when your self-efficacy matters most. Self-efficacy is the belief in your own ability to succeed in achieving a goal. Having the confidence to know you can do whatever you set your mind to by managing how you think, feel, and behave. Having high self-efficacy helps you get your thoughts, feelings, and emotions under control, have better grades, and set higher goals in school, making you feel good all around. And when you feel good about a goal, you're more likely to give it your best effort. There are five ways that can help you develop your self-efficacy. By recalling times when you have succeeded in the past through your own hard work and strengths. For example, remembering the last time you earned an A on a difficult test by asking others for help and studying hard can help you feel more confident when you're up against the next one. Pulling from your own experiences of success has the strongest influence on your self-efficacy. When you see how others like you are successful at achieving a goal, it also makes you feel more capable of your own success. It's like when you watched your friend train for a big race and win, and it made you feel better about your own ability to win at your next big race. Helpful feedback and coaching from others can also help your self-efficacy grow stronger. When someone you trust encourages you by reminding you of your own strengths and abilities, it can help you overcome your own self-doubt, like when your teacher coaches you through solving a complicated math problem. Sometimes, it can be helpful to imagine yourself accomplishing a task. The images you see in your mind can be inspired by any of the things I just mentioned, like imagining solving the math problem before you even start trying or celebrating at the finish line before the race. Finally, Learning how to read your body and emotions can also help you feel more ready to step up to the plate. We all get nervous when we have to do something challenging, but when we read those feelings and emotions in a positive way, such as feeling excited instead of anxious, it helps us think about the situation in a completely different way. Having positive emotions and moods builds your self-efficacy, making you feel more optimistic about what's up ahead. The more you become skilled at using these experiences and influences, the more self-efficacy you will build in pursuit of future similar endeavors. It doesn't mean it'll be easy, it just means that you believe you can make it happen. Having a high sense of self-efficacy can help increase your sense of agency, self-regulation, growth mindset, and perseverance, making you more likely to set and stick to challenging goals motivating you to work hard and succeed, and giving you the courage to try new things. Those around you can help you by giving you good feedback, reminding you of your strengths and abilities, and helping you bounce back from setbacks. And when you do this for others, you can help build their self-efficacy too. So, next time you're taking on a new challenge, remember that believing in yourself is the first step and taking you to new heights. Ayun. So believe in yourself, guys. No matter what hard it is, just believe in yourself. Even though there's so many obstacles or hindrances na encounter natin, don't give up, okay? Then, why self-efficiency is important to you as a student? For me, is self-efficiency can be a line for motivation, Students who are confident, free from stress, show a greater propensity to be motivated. Self-efficiency increases as students note progress, attain goals, and set new challenges. Goals set too high or too low do not enhance self-regulated learning or achievements. Belief. Okay. Dr. Bandura was named the most influential psychologist of all time. His theories gave major contribution to the field of psychology, psychotherapy, and education. Psychology, psychotherapy, and education. He was elected president of the American Psychologist Association. 
na election president sa American Psychological Association. Maybe, ginatrust yun siya. In 1974, he was awarded by ATA for his distinguished scientific contribution in 1980. And again, in 2004, for his outstanding lifetime contribution to psychology. Outstanding life contribution to psychology. In 2015, Dr. Bandura was awarded the National Medal of Science by President Barack Obama. President Barack Obama. Bright did kayo si Dr. Bandura. Tagan po siyang award. Marami din siyang award na natanggap. Hindi lang National Medal of Science. Marami pang iba. Next, Summary of Self-Efficiency Theory. Self-Efficiency Theory is based on the assumption that psychology procedures serve as a creating and strengthening expectation of personal efficiency. Creating and strengthening expectation. Next, self-efficiency theory distinguishes between expectation of efficiency and response outcome expectancies according to Webel 2011 outcome expectancy is a person estimate that given a behavior will lead to certain outcomes according to Webel 2011 outcome expectancy is a person estimate that a given behavior will lead to certain outcomes so the only way is to observe people there are two types of observation like participant observation and non-participant observation Ang participant observation is where the observer is the part of what he is observing. Example, standing in a queue to get the movie tickets and observing the queue. The, the non-participant observation is where the observer is in the part of what is being observed. Example, observing the queue of people waiting to get their movie tickets. Although a person a person may expect a certain activity to lead to a particular outcome, they may lack the motivation to perform the action and doubting their ability to do so. Outcome and efficiency expectation are differentiated because individuals can believe that a particular course of action will produce certain outcome. Outcome and efficiency. However, if they certain serious doubts about whether they can perform the necessary activities with such information, it does not influence their behavior. Next, self-efficacy efficacy typically comes into play when there is an actual or perceived threat to one's personal safety or one's ability to deal with potentially potentially various events personal one's personal safety or one's ability to deal with potentially a vera aversive events your personal safety is the general recognition and avoidance of possible harmful situations or person in surroundings and then be alert to potential danger trust your instincts be aware of all your surroundings avoid anything that does not feel safe Increasing a person's self-efficiency, increasing their ability to deal with a potentially adverse situation. For example, experimental studies on the treatment of adults with ophidophobia, fear of snakes, mga fears of heights, may ana, mga fears of animals, have demonstrated that raising levels of efficiency is an effective technique to help them cope with threatening situations. Perceived self-efficiency may change anxiety arousal. We belt. We belt. 2011 stated that Dr. Bandura defined self-efficiency as people's belief about their capabilities to produce designated levels of performance that exercise influence over events that affects their lives. Dr. Bandura's that kinilala niya ang mga 
gawa ng mga tao na may mataas na insurance sa kanilang mga kakayahan such as approach difficult tasks as challenge to be mastered, set challenging goals and maintain strong commitment to them, heighten or sustain efforts in the face of failures of or setbacks, setbacks. Attrib- attribute failure to ins- insufficient effort of deficient knowledge and skills which are acquirable and approach threatening situations with assurance that they can exercise control over them. Next is In contrast, people who doubt their capabilities at taong duda sa kanilang kakayahan. Number one, shy away from task they view as personal treats have low aspirations and weak commitment to goals they choose to pursue, then dwell on personal deficiencies, obstacles they will encounter, and all kinds of adverse outcomes, rather than concentrating on how to perform successfully. Slacken their efforts and give up quickly in the face of difficulties. Five are slow to recover their sense of efficiency following failure or setback and fall easy victim to stress and depression. Dr. Bandura described four main sources of influence by which a person's self-efficiency is developed and maintained. These are, please take note of this one. Number one, performance, accomplishments, or mastery experiences. Number two, vicarious, vicarious experiences. Number three, verbal or social persuasion. And number four, psychological, stomach and emotional states. Dr. Bandura identified that Mastery experiences are personal performance accomplish are the most effective way to create a strong sense of efficiency. Modo na siya ang pinaka-strong na effective na to create a strong sense of efficiency ang master experiences or personal performance accomplishments. Successes build a robust, robust belief in one personal efficiency. Failures undermine it, especially if failures occur before a sense of efficiency is firmly established. Various vicarious experiences through observance of social models also influence one's perception of self-efficiency. Only one's perception of self-efficiency. The most important factor that determines that strength of influence of an observed observe success or failure on one's own self-efficiency is the degree of similarity between the observer and the model. Maging observer lang kayo guys. Next is, seeing people similar to oneself succeed by sustained effort traces, observers believe that they too possess the cap- capabilities to succeed. Given the comparable activities, by the same token, observing others who fail despite high efforts, lower observers' judgments of their own efficacy and undermines their efforts. The impact of modeling on perceived self-efficiency is strongly influenced by perceived similarity to models. People similar to ones who succeed by sustained effort, races observers believe that they too possess the capabilities to succeed, giving the comparable activities by the same, same token, observing other who fail despite high efforts lowers observers' judgments of their own efficacy, efficacy and undermines their efforts. Ang epektibo ng pagmumodelo ay sa pinaghinala ang pagiging epektibo sa sarili ay malakas na impluensya luwensyahan ng pinaghihinala ang pagkakatulad ng mga modelo. The greater the, the greater the assumed similarity, the more persuasive is the model successes and failures. If people see the models as very different from themselves, their perceived self-efficiency is not much influenced by the model's behavior and the result it produces. Next, verbal or social persuasion. Verbal or ang and ang social persuasion is also affects one perception of self-efficiency. It is a way of strengthening people's belief that they have what it takes to succeed. Verbal or social persuasion can provide a temporary boost in perceived ability. 
when it is effective in mobilizing a person to action and their action lead to success. The enhanced self-efficiency may become more permanent. People who are persuaded verbally that they possess the capabilities to master given activities are likely to mobilize greater effort and sustain it than if they harbor self-doubts and dwell on personal deficiencies when problems arise. Verbal persuasion is involved someone convincing another person that they have the capability to perform a task successfully. Nagakonvince sila o mga another people, mga other person that they have um, mga mayroong mga mga capability na i-perform ang mga task na successfully. Unfortunately, it is more difficult to instill high beliefs of personal efficiency by social persuasion alone than to undermine it since unrealistic boost in efficiency are quickly disconfirmed by disappointing results of one's effort. According to Weibel, 2011. Next. People also rely on their somatic or emotional states when judging their capabilities. Stress and tension are interpreted as sign of vulnerability to poor performance. Fatigue, aches, and pains, and mood also affect perception of ability. Dr. Bandura with fatigue, aches, and pains, and mood also affect of perception perception of ability. Dr. Bandura notes, however, that it is not the intensity of the emotional or physical reaction that is important. Emotional and physical reaction is very important, but rather how it is perceived and interpreted. Perceived and interpreted. People with high sense of self-efficacy self may perceive effective arousal as an Energi energi energizing fa facilitator of performance, whereas those who are beset by self-doubts regarding their arousal as a debilitator, according to Webel, 2011. Since most human motivation is cognitively regenerated, self-belief of efficiency is an important factor in human motivation. Self-belief of, of efficiency is important factor in human motivation. Very important siya, guys. Beliefs of self-efficiency work in coordination with component skill and incentive, incentive to act. Skill and incentive to act. And as much as a person has both the component skills needed to succeed and the incentive to engage, self Self-efficiency plays an important role in determining what activities person will choose to engage in, how much effort they will expend, and how long that efforts will be sustained when things get low. Again, well, according to Weibel 2011, expectation alone will not produce desired performance if the component capabilities are lacking. Moreover, there are many things that people can do with certainty of success, but they do not perform because they have no incentive to do so. Dr. Dr. Albert Albert Bandura's quotes about self-efficiency, according to Kendra 2017, are as follows. First, self-efficiency is the belief in one's capabilities to organize and execute the sources of action required to manage prospective situations from social foundation of thought and action a social cognitive theory in 1986 verse 2 if efficacy belief always reflected only what people can do rut routinely they would rarely fail but they would not set aspiration beyond their immediate reach nor mount the extra effort needed to surpass their ordinary performance from an encyclopedia of human behavior in 1994 Number three, self-belief does not necessarily ensure success, but self-disbelief assuredly spawns failure. From self-efficiency, the exercise of control in 1997. Self-belief self does not necessarily ensure success, but self-disbelief assuredly spawns failures by sticking it out through 
Though times people emerge from adversity with a stronger sense of efficacy, people's belief about their abilities have profound effect on those abilities. What did Albert Bandura say about self-efficiency? Psychologist Albert Bandura has defined self-efficiency as people believes in their capabilities to exercise control over their own functioning and over events that affect their lives. By sticking it out through times, people emerge from adversity with a stronger sense of efficacy from Encyclopedia of Human Behavior, 1994. Number five, people's belief about their abilities have profound effects on those abilities. Ability is not a fixed property. There is a huge variability in how you perform. People who have a sense of self-efficiency bounce back from failure. They approach things in terms of how to handle them rather than worrying about what can go wrong. From self-efficiency, the exercise of control, 1996. Carol S. Dweck's Fixed and Growth Mindset Theory Biography Carol S. Dweck is the author of Mindset. Siya ang author sa Mindset, ang The New Psychology of Success. She was born on October 17, 1946. So, babae din si, babae pala si Carol S. Dweck. She graduated from Bernard College in 1967 and earned her PhD from Yale University in 1972. Before joining Stanford University in 24, 2004, she taught that Columbia University, Harvard University, and University of Illinois. She is one of the leading researchers, researchers in the field of motivation and is a Lewis and Virginia Eaton professor of psychology at Stanford University. So, she ang nagalid sa mga researches, researchers sa field na motivation and is a Lewis and Virginia Eaton Professor pud siya sa Psychology at Stanford University. Ang iyang ang iyang gi-focus na research ang mm -hmm, is why people succeed and how to foster su foster success. She has been elected as one of the outstanding scholars in social sciences at the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Isa pud isa din siya sa na elect aside Dr. Bandura na elect pud siya na elect din siya sa Outstanding Scholars in, Sci in Social Sciences at the American Academic of Arts and Sciences. Psychology lang kay Bandura, yes, yeah, kay Art and Sciences. Her works has been featured in different publications like The New Yorker, Time, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and The Boston, and the Boston Mindset, 2006 and 2010. And that's our lesson for today, and let's have a little recap. So what? Recap. So, Jack Canfield has authored seven books, and the Guinness, Guinness Book of World Records as New York Times bestseller. So what are those books that he authored? Ano gan iyon? First is Chicken Soup for the Soul series. Second, The Success Principles. How to get from where you are to where you want to be. Third, the power of focus. Fourth, the Aladdin factor. Fifth, is there to win. Sixth, you've got to read this book. And last, the key to living the law of attraction. Jack Canfield is also a chairman and a founder of the Canfield Training Group. Founder and former thousand of radio and television program worldwide. What is the one of one of Canfield quote. It's by taking the time to stop and appreciate who you are and what you have achieved. And perhaps learn through a few mistakes and stumble and loses. You actually can enhance everything about you. Appreciate what you have and who you have because the future can take it all away from you anytime. Appreciate what you have before it turns into what you had, all you have to do is self-acknowledgement and appreciation are what give you the insight and awareness to move forward toward higher goals and accomplishments. Robert Bandura introduced the concept of self-efficiency in article entitled Self-Efficiency Toward and Fine Theory of Behavioral Change. Then, Albert Bandura was 
Born in Mondari, Alberta on December 4, 1925, he was the youngest of six children. Bandura took summer job in Alaska. He was a working student three times before, before he took an introductory psychology course at the University of British Columbia. He earned his master's degree from University of Iowa in 1951 and his clinical psychology in 1952. He had a postdoc position at the Wichita Guidance Center before Nia accepted a position as a faculty member at Stanford University in 1953. Dr. Bandura continued to do a research such as self-efficiency, stress reaction, and effects of modeling on human behavior, emotion, and thoughts. He has received many awards and honorary degrees due to his works. The Great Canadian Psychology website his theories gave major contributions to the field of psychology, psychotherapy, and education. And also, he elected president of the American Psychological Association, kung si, si Carol, kay sa American Arts and Sciences, si, si Dr. Bandura naman is elected president of American Psychological Association. He, he was outstanding lifetime contribution to psychology. National Med he awarded a National Medal of Science by President Barack Obama. Self-efficiency theory is based on assumption that psychology procedures serve as means of creating, strengthening expectation of personal efficacy. Outcome and efficacy expectation are differentiated because individuals can believe that a particular course of action will produce certain outcomes. One's personal safety or one's ability to deal with potentially arrives events, potential danger. Trust your instinct. Be aware of all your surroundings. Avoid anything that does not feel safe. And then your personal safety is a general recognition and avoidance of possible harmful situation or person in your surroundings and I hope you will you understand my explanations and I hope may naintindihan din kayo kahit ganon and now we have a quiz the quiz consists of questions carefully designed to help you self-assess your comprehension of the information presented on the topic. Answer only. Uh, write this on your paper, any paper. Read each question carefully. Easy lang to siya, guys. And like like what Ma'am Lianis said, that please keep your your paper sa, para sa final. Para natin may pakita kay Ma'am. Okay, just answer only. And I hope na naintindihan ninyo yung, yung discussion ko, yung lesson ko. Please do screenshot na lang po. And then, at ang other discussion guys is i-continue ni Guillermo and then the ending is Miss Sinat Punyo. And I hope na tapos na kayo. Send it in our GC. Send it in our GC.